And we are recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to an animation combination for another episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Animation Edition. This is episode four of season five of this season, and I'm so glad we're we have with us a fellow rotoscoper, actually one of the head people of the rotoscopers, and a, a contestant from season one, Miss Chelsea Robson. How are you? Hello. I am excited to be here. And yeah, so I am the co-host of the Animation Addicts podcast with the rotoscope with the rotoscopers and also been in charge of the media department. So, um, with the YouTube channel and I did most of the editing and a lot of the filming and videos for that as well. And so I've always just been an animation fan. And so that's kind of what brought me here today. Nice. Nice. And I want to thank you so much for coming on the show again, because I know you're busy with all your singing engagements and your record making and all that. So thanks for, doing Thank this show. You. <laughs> You're welcome. And for those of you who are new to the show, this is a 12-question multiple choice game about anything even remotely related to the field of animation. As long as Chelsea keeps getting questions right, she goes higher up the ladder. Once she gets one wrong, that's the end of the game, and she leaves with the last number of points from the last save haven. She has three lifelines to help her, a 50-50 gets her two wrong answers, a phone or friend if she chooses, she can call someone for help, or an Ask the Expert. This season, our expert is blogger, anim animation blogger, and Disney lover, Swan Pride. And we've asked her all these questions previously. Chelsea can see how she answered and decide if she wants to go with that or not. And a special new thing for this season, if Chelsea makes it to the period 2000 mark with the second bench mark, she gets a fourth lifeline, which is to switch the questions. You can swap a question for another one worth total worth the same amount of points, but it's a totally different question. Yeah, so far, no one's made it to the million. And if no one does, the top five will come back for round two. And let's see how Chelsea can do today. Chelsea, are you ready to play Millionaire? I am ready to play. Okay, just share my screen with you. <clears throat> do you see the millionaire screen? I do. I think the uh, I, the whole design of this um, background is different from season one when you were on. <laughs> I think I was doing a gray background back then. <laughs> so Chelsea, this is your lateral points. Remember the yellow ones are your benchmarks. Once you get to those, you can't lose them. Okay. <laughs> And uh, hey everyone, this is the expert Swan Pride. So Chelsea, pay attention to what she says. She says, hi, I'm Swan Pride, Disney lover and blogger. I'm kind of an expert in the history of movie animation. If you're asked about a high quality animated movie that was made between 1910 and 2000, I will at least know something about it. Voice actors are weak as a mind though. There's only 50-50 chance I'd be able to answer a question about them. Better don't ask me anything about anime TV shows either unless they aired in the late 80s and 90s. What I can offer instead is a sound basic knowledge about foreign animated movies like the work of Studio Ghibli and other famous players in Japan with the efforts of European production companies to keep traditional animation alive. So keep that in okay. mind. Basically, she's good in, in movie trivia generally, but we, we TV shows and voice actors are her weakness. <laughs> so okay. just keep that in mind. And for all you people watching, check out her blogs at Honor, Honor and the Heroines. It's a heroine-based uh, uh, blog. That's swanpride.wordpress.com and Movies and Lyrics, which is a blog based on Disney mu mu music and lyrics and analysis of that. Swanpride3.wordpress.com. Chelsea, are we start? Okay. Yep. Let's go. 500 points. What was the name of the Disney canon film based on the fairy tale Rapunzel? Today's ends. He volumized. C bangs everywhere. Or D, Tangled? <clears throat> oh, we're going to go with Tangled, D. And remember, nothing's final until you say final answer. Is that your final, final answer? Final answer. All right. You seem to know that one. Your answer is correct. Good job. Woo! Are you a Tangled fan generally? Yes, I am. Yeah, me too. I, I like it better than Frozen. But I like Frozen, too. <laughs> so... Anyway, okay, Chelsea, the next one's a 1,000 point. After mind you, if you get it wrong, you leave with nothing. I don't think that will happen, but I just have to remind you. Let's go, 1,000 points. Which of the many characters voiced by Mel Blanc famously had the catchphrase, what's up, Doc? A, Daffy Duck. B, Yosemite Sam. C, Tweety Bird. Or D, Bugs Bunny. We're going to go with D, Bugs Bunny, final answer. And you seem confident about that too. Your answer is correct. Good job. You have, a thousand, you have a thousand points, Chelsea. How's it feel? Saturday morning cartoons have finally paid off. <laughs> See, they did come in handy. <laughs> Thankfully. All led up to this moment. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. 
All right, Chelsea, doing fine. You have three lifelines, and you're five away from the next benchmark. But let's see how far how far we can go. Two thousand points. The animated TV series We Bear Bears from 2015 to present features three bear brothers. One is a polar bear, one is a grizzly bear, and one is what type of bamboo-loving Chinese bear? Is it A, a Kodiak bear, B, a sun bear, C, a giant panda, or D, a spectacle bear? I've actually never seen this one, but based on the question, I'm going to go with C, giant panda. Final answer. I also have not seen this one, but I've seen so much advertisements about it. So I, I don't know, I guess it must be doing good. Your answer is correct. Good job. <laughs> yeah, it's these three brothers here. I always see like at the Regal, Regal Cinema, they always have stuff about them. I don't know why, but I guess, I guess it must be a popular show. All right, Chelsea, you're doing fine. Let's keep going, 5,000 points. The 2009 animated Disney canon film, The Princess and the Frog, takes place in which southern U.S. city? Is A, Atlanta, Georgia? B, Nashville, Tennessee? C, Charleston, South Carolina? Or D, New Orleans, Louisiana? We're gonna go final answer, D, New Orleans, Louisiana. You know all these ones right off the bat. Down your on the bayou. Is, by on the bayou, your answer is correct, good job. I think you guys uh, did this uh, as an episode for Animation Addicts podcast, right? We did, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I, always, I like the animation in the film more than I like the film itself. I thought the animation in this film was gorgeous. Yeah. And the, the music was super fun as well. Yeah, Randy Jackson, right? He was the one behind it. Not Randy Jackson, Randy Newman. <laughs> yeah, Randy Jackson, wrong guy. Like Randy Jackson, really? <laughs> Around the new Missed one. that point. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. Okay. Good, good job. Let's go to the ten thousand one. Which character in the two thousand eight DreamWorks animation film Madagascar Escape to Africa wants to take over as the Alpha Lion of the Pride currently led by Alex's father? A Zuba. B Mokonga. C Motomoto. Or D Flory. You know, this one is a little bit more difficult for me because I think I may have only seen this one time and it was several years ago. So we're going to go to Ask the Expert. Ask the Expert. Want to go to Swan Pride? Okay. Let's, let's hope she's seen this film too and can help you. We've asked her this. She said, sadly, I haven't watched the Madagascar movies after the first one, which I felt was mediocre at best. Sorry, I can't help you there. So oh, she, wasn't no. help. she wasn't helping this one. What you can do, you could do a 50-50 if you want and get rid of two. All right, so we'll go with the 50-50. Okay, let's give it a two for you. And we got Makonga and Flory. Do you remember anything from this movie? I don't remember it, but honestly. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Okay, which character in 2008 Dreamworks? All right, take your time. Don't say final answer until you're ready. Madagascar escaped to Africa. Wants to take over as the alpha lion of the pride currently led by Alex's father. See, now, if you would have done the Circus Circus one, I could have even said <laughs> the theme song, but nice. this one, I'm not even sure if I've seen it. It's um, not that great, to be honest, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go through it. Um, I'm going to say B, final answer. What made you choose B instead of D? It just sounds funny. <laughs> All right, Chelsea, you get this right. You keep going, you get it wrong, you're down to a thousand, and it's the end of the game. Chelsea, your answer is correct. Hey! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very Mokung much. Mokunga was this uh, Alec Baldwin voiced uh, lion. He was trying to take over from Zuba, who was Alex's father. He's dashing. Yes, he is. He's, he's like, I guess he's like the Gaston of the, uh, the Pride. <laughs> okay, Chelsea, you had to use two lifelines. Swan Pride sadly couldn't help you with that one, but you managed to get through, so you're doing fine. Move away from the next benchmark, so let's get you there. <clears throat> you ready? 20,000, let's go. With theatrical Peanuts film, featured songs written by the Sherman Brothers of Disney fame. 
Hey, a boy named Charlie Brown. B, Snoopy, come home. C, race for your life, Charlie Brown. Or D, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and don't come back. You still have that last expert as your last lifeline. Huh. Theatrical Peanuts film. Dad, Sherman Brothers. I am just going to kind of guess on this one, honestly. So well, I'm going to uh, say... Let me, let me just warn you, if you get it wrong, you go down to a thousand. But you always I understand. have to stand. <laughs> the stakes are high. Yeah. Because <laughs> the next, the one after this is the next benchmark. <laughs> And you have and that you might as well ask the ex expert. You want to ask her? <laughs> sure. Okay, hopefully she can help you. This is this is your last lifeline for now. I have a feeling she's not going to, but... <laughs> well, you never, whenever, you never know. Let's see. She says, this has to be the only penis related question I am actually able to answer. Oh. Being a fan of the work of the Sherman Brothers, I am sure that the answer is B, Snoopy, come home. All right, then we are going to go with final answer B, Snoopy, come home. Was that going to be your guess before? It was not, so. <laughs> well, did this help? Your answer is correct. <laughs> so, good job. Good thing you used the expert there. <laughs> or else you had gotten it wrong, so. Perfect. So, okay, Chelsea, the next one's at 32,000. If you get it right, you will have that. No matter what, you'll be tied for first place with two other people, and you'll get the extra lifeline. If you get it okay. wrong, you go down to 1,000. But you could always walk away with 20,000 because remember the top five come back for a round two if no one gets to the million. And that's a good number to have, 20,000. So it's up to you. Let's go. 32,000 points. What type of animal is Rumpelstiltskin's pet Fifi? The 2010 Dumas animation film direct forever. Oh. A, a goose. B, a bear. C, a lizard. Or D, a toad. Have you seen this recently? No, I don't even, I didn't even see it. Oh, okay. So keep in mind what I said. You could walk away, you could take a guess. It's up to you. If you walk away, you'll be in second place right now, which is a good place to be. A goose, a bear. Rumple still skin. Um, I'm, you know what? Go, go big or go home. I'm going to okay. go for it. And I'm going to say final answer C, lizard, but it's a complete guess. So, okay. You could have uh, walked away, but you decided to take a gamble. You get this right, you have 32,000, you get it wrong. At the end of the game, you have to leave with 1,000. But Chelsea, your answer is wrong. Wah, I'm so sorry. Wah. A thousand. It was actually it was it was a goose. And this oh. like frightening goose was his main uh, pet. I'm so sorry, Chelsea. You leave with a thousand, but look at what you went way further than you did the last time you came. I did. I so. I really fell hard last time. <laughs> yeah. So. So you, you did you did an amazing an amazing job. So um, if there's a round two, I'll let you know if you make it to the top five. But if not, I, I just want to let you just want to really thank you for coming on the show. And before we go, is there anything you want to say? Or how can people find you online or anything? Yeah. So actually, right now the Animation Addicts podcast is on hiatus, but I still do the several different uh, film reviews on our YouTube channel. So if you'd like to go follow us there. And I also am working really hard on my own music. And you can find me by going to chelsearobson.com. And you can find out, see a whole bunch of my different music videos and uh, even find out like my original songs and how they're written. So check it out. And I'll make sure to put links to all that uh, below. So for those of you Thank watching, you. We've, we've had four episodes. No one made it to the million, six more to go. So keep watching. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>